What are we doing today, Tim? All right, this is the third and final part of our Crisis Protocol city build. Flash forward a little bit to the point where we've got some shorter buildings. So you've seen the three in the past videos. We've got these three additional ones, one story shorter with some windows on the sides, did a few different colors. So the main theme of this video is gonna be how to add some little details. Uh, we're gonna do some rooftop units. We're gonna do some dumpsters, some garbage, and some more signage, and maybe some posters. So There's a mix of uh, 3D printed stuff in here. There's some actual crafty bits. Yeah, we got lasered, we got FDM print, we got resin print, we got arts and crafts. <laughs> we got it all. <laughs> So these are the things that come in the Crisis Protocol starter box. And you get two cars, two dumpsters, and a little, uh, it's like a newspaper kiosk. Yeah. Yep. You can also get the, the Daily Bugle separate, uh, in addition to like a little coffee stand that's basically the same building with a different sign. Oh, yeah. Um, and we've noticed that uh, we've got a few other pieces that will fit in pretty good. These are crushed, but I mean, once the Hulk's done with them, they're going to be crushed yeah. anyways, right? Yeah, they're so, from Walking Dead. Yeah, these are from The Walking Dead. Um, Reaper um, does this cool shipping crate. That's just a, a real cheapie. It's just, it's just hollow. Look at that in there somewhere. Uh, and then don't uh, forget to check out your you know thrift shops and your local dollar stores for things that are in scale as well. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty easy to, to find. Stuff that Do you have any idea what right scale in. this is? Uh, on the top of your head? I don't. No. One one in it's it's two hundred and fifty six. It, 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 it might be one forty eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um but you know you can take take one of those out with you. Yeah, roughly to 40, the dollar store and roughly forty eight scale. Yeah. So we're gonna these aren't done, right? These are you these oh, are gonna no. get painted and yep. primed and everything to match them up. We, will, we probably won't do those today. But. Yeah. But just uh, you know, there's there's stuff you can use for this game everywhere. You just gotta look. Right, first things first. Then we're gonna make loads of noise on the camera while Jonty's talking. Trash bags. <laughs> um, yeah. Normally I would use a smooth one, but I don't have a smooth one. But this will be fine. So we. So we're making little trash bags, and the best thing to make them out of is big trash bags. Turns out, trash bags are good at being trash bags. Wow. <laughs> uh, so. There's lots of uh, tutorials on the net for this. Uh, usually they'll use a small stone. I'm just going to use a small pinch of grit. This is going to be... This is uh, scenic grit. <laughs> um, this dollar armor, right? Yeah, this can yeah. Been... But you can go outside and just <laughs> grab something off the ground. It's true. This doesn't have bugs in it. No. Never and mind. We're just Pinching the corners off. Take the corners. Get that in there. Hold on. It again for you. Yeah. Take the corners. Make sure we shake it all down. Make a nice little ball. And then this is just craft wire. This is just a, just a simple roll of craft wire. And I'm just going to make a loop around it. And then I'm going to use a pair of Vice grips because I don't have pliers, uh, just to give it a twist. Make it nice and tight because we don't want it to slip off. We'll put a dot of glue on it probably as well. Trim off the excess. And then scissors work a little better for cutting the trash bag. And we have a tiny bag of trash. Look at that. And the good thing is that only took you about 30 seconds because you've now got to make another 40 of them. That's right. <laughs> what are those? Well, uh, we've heard some comments about how we like to laser things. Uh -huh. So this is us showing you that. Um, we've lasered all of this. <laughs> you can have somebody else laser things. This is from the dollar store. Yeah. Um, but these are lasers. These are going to be lasered, not right? These are lasered, yeah. but this was literally two dollars for the whole it was alphabet. Like al yeah, they came in like a big gridded box, right? Alphabets and shapes and stuff. I bought them in the spring, so there's mm -hmm. some spring shapes. There's a yeah, Halloween pack in there. Um, got some spiders. Um, and then we're just going to take our signs and just uh, spell some stuff. I don't know. 
we do? Uh, we've already got, where's the porn one? Uh, it's a porn with a W, by the way, folks. You filthy that, like That's this kind of thing. Porn. Porn. <laughs> So uh, just like we made uh, little trash bags out of big trash bags, we're going to make little tiny cardboard boxes out of regular cardboard boxes. That was neat. How'd you do that? Science. Science! <laughs> <laughs> so after just saying about how we laser cut everything too much, <laughs> how did you make these, Tim? Uh, so we, we didn't, in fact, order a tiny bundle of miniature boxes. <laughs> we, we did just laser cut some cardboard. Uh, but it's just a super simple thing. You could easily cut that out of a cereal box. It's just cut and scored, right? Yeah, we these just, are just uh... pre-scored, so they're ready to go. Uh, I want kind of a uniform look in our cardboard boxes. And we're just going to super glue these together, and then we're going to weather them up. So these two dumpsters are the ones that come with the star set? Yep. Um, and we're just going to sponge some silver on their edges, kind of like they're scratched up aluminum dumpsters uh -huh. or something. Looking um, pretty green. We've, we've got uh, another dumpster as well that we 3D printed before we realized that the set came with some. Um, the, the lid failed on it. The lid failed on it. It wasn't a great far, but we're going to just use it as an open one and fill it with trash and, and junk. City of... Newark. Shout out to Newark. Where's Newark? I don't know. Uh, these ones are FDM printed. Yeah, we were just testing our We were just trying printers. to dial, dial in the FDM printer and thought we might as well print something that we can use. They're not great, but they'll work fine. Uh, again, they've just been primed uh, silver and they'll just get weathered a bit. And then finally we just have, again, some resin printed uh, trash cans. These these turned out pretty cool. These are, these are good. Um, so there's some that are uh, tipped up with some rubbish coming out, some trash coming out, and then some just regular uh, trash cans as well. Again, they, they'll just need some some silver on them or something. Hey, we could, we could sure we could even try that uh, uh, rub rub stuff on those. Yep, actually we could do that on these two. Yeah, maybe that'll look cool. The rub and buff. Yes, sir. Nice. Here we got some AK True Metal. Um, colored wax. Is this new or is it just new to us? Uh, new to us. It's actually similar to a product called Rub and Buff, which is for all kinds of, you know. Yeah. Uh, the difference what? between this and Rub and Buff is you can buy this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's not extortionately expensive. That's right. 
Rub and Buff is a pretty niche product for, I, I think it's for like gilding frames and things. Yeah, it's for, I think a lot of um, like rest restorators and, and like, uh, you know, antiquers and stuff use it to sort of restore older metal. Um, but it's pretty neat. It's like a wax, right? It's like a colored wax that you can sort of buff up to, to give a really nice finish. But Whoops. it's pretty useful as a bit of a weathering tool. Like what we're doing here. If you want to sort of edge it, yeah, it's tricky to see. Just bring it in. You want the metal edge of something to be prominent? It's pretty neat. I mean, we like, could just do this with paint, but you could. But I think you'd, you'd struggle to get that sort of um, that that. <sighs> fine detail but also the sort of almost randomness that it produces right and you know we're we're constantly testing out products here mm -hmm. we don't want to sell stuff that we don't don't know how to use and that we uh that we don't use ourselves so i'm actually going to overdo it a little bit on this one because i want it to look real real chunky I've been looking forward to this last bit. What what is this? Uh, this is a a create your own neon sign kit from the dollar store. Yeah, this was like three or four bucks. Yeah, and and it's a strip. It's basically a strip of fiber optic that's battery powered, and it and it does that. Can we see that? Yeah, that's cool. So what are we gonna do with it? So dress up our. Let's dress up our naughty building. Oh, our dirty store. We're gonna have girls, girls, girls. We've got a laser. So that you can't read that quite as well, but basically we have laser cut this, um, and then sort of etched a groove in it that we can hopefully run this neon through and uh, and get it to stick. I think if this works, it's gonna look incredible. Yeah. If it works. <laughs>
Are we? I think we're calling this a success. It's, obviously, I need to tidy up the glue with yeah. some uh, paint, but let's, let's turn on the light. Yeah, girls, girls, girls. <laughs> I think that's so tacky, but it's come out really well. <laughs> Be Beetlejuice would be proud. Yeah.